Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're out at the range to play around with the TP9. You've seen it here on the channel before. It's one of my favorite guns, but this one is just pure eye candy, guys. I'm gonna show you a couple of different TP9s. I'm gonna show you a super special version of this gun. So this is a standard TP9 pistol. As you can see, this one has a primary arms red dot sight on top. You can pick these up at coppercustom.com. The TP9 itself is something you can also pick up at coppercustom.com. On it, we have Dakota Tactical aluminum arm brace. And then on the end of that, we have the tail hook brace itself. All that stuff you can find over at Copper. On the front here, we have what used to be known as TechSmith, but now it's Custom Smith. They had to go through a name change, but this is a plug that goes into the newest version, which this is, of the TP9 coming into the United States. This gives you an angled forward grip that is not a vertical grip. You can't even wrap your thumb around it. That actually is more or less a safety feature because it keeps you from getting your thumb in front of the muzzle. It looks sharp and it works very, very well. So we're gonna start off shooting this gun, which is just a pistol with the brace. And then we're gonna show you a couple other different versions, one you've seen already, and one you're gonna absolutely love. All right, so this one just has on its ambi controls, you'll notice that this one has a selector lever on my SBR that I'm gonna show you here in a minute. We don't have this selector lever, we have a cross block. But uh, let's fire off this magazine and take a look at that SBR, then show you the cool stuff. Easily one of my favorite pistols ever. It's super lightweight, cool, closed bolt, bolt design, has iron sights, but it has a pick rail across the top, just a cool gun. All right, this one's on safe, bolt's locked open. I'm gonna reach over here really quick and grab my SBR. You guys have seen this here on the channel before. This one, again, is an SBR. This one has a vertical grip that bolts on in place of the 1913 rail that used to be on it. It's not the same color as the gun. This is an older version. This one, you have safe and fire, which is just a cross, block safety for the most part. So over here is safe, push it for fire. You'll notice there's no selector lever like there is on the current production guns. Old gun, still love it. And on the end, we have the BNT TP9 suppressor. On top of it, have a, or it's a uh, Aimpoint T2 Micro, and it's mounted with a Midwest Industries low mount on there. Again, we still have our iron sights and stuff like that. Let's go ahead and shoot this little guy. And then I wanna show you something super cool. Right now we're just shooting some Aguila ammunition that we picked up from our friends over at LAX Ammo. They're really good to us here on the channel. All right, make sure we got it on fire and have some fun with this bad boy. All right, so you can probably see some gas coming out of that thing. That's because we're running a silencer on it. But this weapon is on safe. Go ahead and fold its stock. And now we're talking about some serious fun. This is a super lightweight submachine gun. This is the MP9. If you take a look at the markings on the gun, this one does not say TP9, this says MP9. Now years ago, Steyr, had a, a pistol that they, they sold in the US market called the uh, SPP or TPP, I can't remember which, which one it was. Uh, for a short time, uh, the guys at DS Arms imported the guns and then B&T bought the license to the, to the guns. They started working on them, changed them a little bit, and now they currently hold the license for the guns. They're made in Switzerland, again, by B&T. So this is a B&T submachine gun. This one has the stock that folds. You'll notice it has the updated fire controls. It goes all the way around to full auto. So we have safe, semi, full rotation to full auto. This is kind of abbreviated selector lever here on the ambi side. On the strong side for a right-handed shooter, we have a, a larger lever that goes from safe, semi, all the way around to full. But everything else is the same. All the controls are the same. You have your bolt release here and it fires from the closed bolt. On top of it, we have an aim point. And it's a T1 micro. I'm gonna grab some of the, actually, this looks like some of the Fiocchi ammunition. This is from our friends over at LAX Ammo as well. I'm gonna go ahead, load the weapon up, and 
It's gonna start off just doing some short bursts and then we'll just do some mag dumps because let's be honest, that's the most fun. Grab another stick mag here full of, these are BNT magazines of the Fiocchi. Drop the bolt. And now we're gonna show you just how controllable this little gun is with that hot 124 grain NATO ammo. That guys was a full 30 round magazine. I don't think I got any more of those on me. One of the questions I always get when I'm showcasing a firearm with a folding stock is, does the gun fire with the stock folded? Well, yes, it does, but in a practical sense, this is only meant for storage. As you can see, the stock folds nice and cleanly along the side of the submachine gun, but there's really no point to firing like this. Now, I guess if you're point blank range, you just happen to need the weapon really quickly and it, you know, they're in bad breath distance, sure, you can fire the weapon like this if you needed to, but from a practical sense, it makes far more practical sense to go ahead and deploy the stock and shoulder the weapon because then you can get the type of controllability I showcased before. So I'm going to take a loaded magazine, put it into the MP9, go ahead and chamber the first round, put it on full auto, and now I'm just going to hold the weapon from the hip. You'll notice as the stock is folded, it goes right into the, the same contour as the vertical grip. And let's just see if I can walk my fire in onto the, the rubber dummy. All right, so as you can see, I did okay. A few shots up on the forehead, I pulled it down. I was walking my fires, I saw the impacts, and I was able to get some of those shots onto target. Now, put a magazine into it, go ahead and deploy the stock, and now I can chew the center out of the target. Very small, tight group. So. That's the difference, guys, between firing with the stock folded and just deploying the stock and actually using it gives you far more stability. Firing it like this really isn't very practical. Some of the stuff we see in Hollywood is absolutely ridiculous. You go watch John Wick movies, they're pretty good, but most of the Hollywood movies, guys, are absolutely horrible. So what happens when you take a submachine gun and fire it one-handed at a bad person or a rival gang member or whatever and just hold the tr uh, trigger back? Well, <laughs> let's find out. I got a couple hits. Let's try that again. Yeah, they, I think they hold their arms out. <laughs> I don't know. It's working. It's not all that practical. Guys, I'd much rather use the gun like this. That's infinitely more practical than trying to shoot it Hollywood style. A lot of fun. I've shot a lot of machine guns in my life, but there's one thing that I always notice and it, is, and it can happen to anybody, especially people that don't shoot machine guns for a long period of time, or people that just assume that the 9mm doesn't really have that much kick, so you don't really have to prepare for that constant push that a submachine gun that cycles at 1,000 rounds per minute or faster like this MP9 does. It's really easy if I stand with my feet together, I don't lean into it, I try to do this as safely as possible, and just kind of casually shoot it like I would any other rifle single shot or a nine millimeter SBR on full auto, it'll push me off balance very, very easily. Okay, so this is really interesting to see. I'm just casually standing here with my feet together. I'm not leaning and putting my body weight into it. It's easy for the gun to push me off. All right, let's get rid of the rest of the ammo. Oh, actually it was empty. Okay, so now, when I do the same thing, I spread my feet apart, shoulder width, I put the weapon tightly into my shoulder, I'm going to bend this knee, I'm just leaning forward, and now watch what happens. Completely different result. I have zero problem 
controlling the weapon. I can do that with a 5.56. I can even do it with a 308. I can keep an M14 on a mag dump on a man-sized target from about 10 yards away. It's all in practice and learning to put your weight behind the gun and lean into the recoil. So once, once it starts pushing back, you start pushing back. And that's how you get control of a submachine gun or any machine gun for that matter. I hope you guys enjoyed coming out and getting a look at something that you don't see very often, which is a fully automatic MP9 submachine gun from BNT USA. It's one of my favorite submachine guns. I think I've said that before. It's small, lightweight, again, empty. It doesn't weigh much more than a fully loaded uh, 1911 pistol. It's just a very handy little submachine gun that's mostly made of polymer. It's very reminiscent of firearms like the G36, for example. So it's a very modern style gun. It fires from a closed bolt versus an open bolt. And that means you don't have to worry about stuff getting into the action. And it's just overall a lot of fun to shoot. I'm glad I had the opportunity to bring you guys to the range with us and do some shooting with the MP9. If you'd like to support us here at the Military Arms Channel, we do not take money from BNT. We don't take money from Ruger or CZ or anybody else. We are 100% viewer supported. That's so we can be completely honest in what we share with you guys. And so if you'd like to support us in our mission to be completely 100% transparent and honest, you can join our Patreon page. There's a link down below, become a Patreon supporter and directly help us out here at the Military Arms Channel so we can continue to bring you this wonderful content. Another great way to support us is to pick up a t-shirt from our Forge From Freedom online t-shirt store. There is a link down below to pick up a t-shirt. Follow that link, pick something from the Mac collection and you directly support us here at the channel. And last but not least, check out coppercustom.com. All right, guys, I think we have this thing loaded up. We have the B&T suppressor on it and we'll end on a high note. Thanks for watching for all those years, 10 years now, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Okay, that's a little bit of gas. <coughs> Woo! <laughs> 1,200 rounds a minute with a suppressor. Oh, whoa! Check out those red eyes. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> Bye, guys.